My name is Sean Marlin, and this is my Mars Mission Heavy Mining Rover. Uh, this is basically a tribute to LEGO's Mars Mission theme, came out in 2007, and so that inspired most of the color scheme, and then I tried to include as many parts and aspects from that theme in this particular mock. Um, also, just a little bit of lore, in this case, in that theme, the uh, aliens and the astronauts were historical enemies. In this case, they formed a, formed a joint mining consortium to more efficiently extract, extract the energy crystals. So, um, I'll kind of start in the back because this is the actual seed parts, the uh, kind of the eye-catching part are the uh, old air pumps from the 2007 theme. Such an iconic part, that it's, element. It's so cool, <laughs> yes. Um, a little bit hard to find, but also not crazy expensive. Um, so I got acquired six of these, and in the original tr theme, you'd push them through the uh, orange tubing and stuff, um, and I did include that uh, throughout the build as well. Uh, and then, yeah, just it's a, it's a mining operation, so the astronauts extract the crystals, uh, alien technology is used in the uh, ultra heavy laser drill, and then the aliens help with the power source as well. So they extract the crystals and then they generate the uh, power cells that distribute both to humans and aliens uh, across the planet. Um, there's a little bit of an interior uh, just inside the command center up front um, using more of the uh, trans orange parts, including those tubes that were iconic across the entire theme. And you can see the aliens and humans driving the uh, entire rig, and uh, just a little bit of uh, life support. And then in the middle is just a small equipment section. A um, few Easter eggs to some other space themes, maybe some droids getting sold and other uh, ice, ice planet mission workers as well. So yeah, just a large, heavy mining rover. They're just going about their day here. Uh, the does this, um, I see these big tracks, can it actually move very easily on its own? On, on a carpet, uh, you can push it, yes. Uh, everyone asks if it can roll around on its own, not quite. <laughs> that might require like a lawnmower engine or something, but uh, in this case, it, it can actually roll, yes. Um, other parts, the freight elevator actually could go up and down. In this case, a little bit of manual action and pretty slow. Uh, the, the drill does retract when they're moving around. And then on the back, of course, is the other tribute. It's the actual uh, mobile the armored, armored drilling unit actual set from that oh, theme. Okay. So that deploys off the back for scouting missions and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Very cool, and I see you've got some more rigging here, so what are, what are these kind of parts of the, the whole rover? Yep, this is just a anti-gravity crane, uh, just kind of has full articulation and can extend out with technic use, and this is just their uh, deep space communications comms tower. Uh, this whole, all these parts are modular for uh, easy transport and stuff, so despite the fact I could pick it up in one go, it's a little <laughs> bit heavy for that, so yes. So does it transport and set up pretty easy when you come to a show like Brick Slopes? This one very much so does. Uh, it's based, I think it's about five large parts. The bottom entire chassis is one part, and then the front, so one, two, three, four, five, yes. So it's, it's a lot easier to transport than some of the other stuff I've done. I loved this theme when I was younger. Are these okay. minifigs and parts still relatively easy to get, or is any of this very difficult or expensive to get your hands on these days? Honestly, Mars Mission, not very much. I'm trying to spread the word of Mars Mission and make it more popular, but honestly, not really. The aliens and, and human minifigs are pretty pretty easy to get. All the um, weird parts from Mars Mission are surprisingly easy to get as well. Um, the hardest part, actually, was the orange Technic tread wheels. Those were exclusive to, I think, one Mindstorms kit, I think, and they were, they were the toughest part to actually acquire. Uh, so I got really lucky, a lot of bulk lots, few BrickLink orders, but otherwise it wasn't too bad as an acquisition process. So is this the start of a whole Mars Mission universe for you? Do you plan to expand on this idea? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> uh, doing a, a drop ship to deploy this would be interesting, but that might be a very large project. Right. So long term, long term. Well, thank you for taking us through the whole build here and keeping Mars Mission alive here at Brickslabs. Yes, I appreciate it. That's my goal. Thank you so much. <laughs>